everybody, and welcome to C4, CRI's new comedy quiz show. On my left, let's meet the team. Hello, who are you? Hi, I'm Emily. Hello, Emily. Good to and meet who you. are you? Hello, I'm Louis-Anne. Lovely. What do you do? I work on this show called The World According to Words. Oh, I've never heard it. Okay, and on my right, let's see who we've got. Who are you? Hi, I'm Tyler. I know you, and I know you as well. Who are you? I'm Huang Ray. And who do you work for? Working for a program called Daybreak. Don't care. Okay, so let's move on to the very first story. We've got four stories as usual, so let's check out the first video. <laughs> Okay, anyone want to buzz in and tell me what this is all about? No. Oh, you nearly touched Tyler, but he's got a girlfriend, so leave him alone, okay? <laughs> Tyler, what is going on in these uh, series of images, this montage of images? What's it's going the, on? It's the bridge they built over the, uh, those two mountains. I can't remember exactly How where very they specific. They Does are. anyone else want to tell me what, uh, a bit more specific? Liu Yen, you work for a news show, don't you? Used to. Oh, okay. I won't ask you. But you actually work for a new show now, <laughs> yeah, don't you? I do. So tell me, what is, uh, where is it? It's about a really big bridge. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what goes on in this place. Professionalism. It's red. <laughs> I don't know. It's a red bridge. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm working with a bunch of buffoons. Okay. It's actually the highest and longest suspension bridge in the world. And it's a place in, uh, called uh, Jisho in uh, Hunan. And uh, it's just officially open to motorists. Um, and it lights up at night with 1,888 lights. How exciting, like a giant Christmas tree, but obviously a bridge. Uh, would you be brave enough to be the first person to drive over it, any of you? Yeah. you? No. Why? Um, I could imagine it's myself standing... poor quality Chinese construction. Is that no, what you're saying? It's really high. I, ha I have the Afro... Acrophobia. Afro? Racism? Apparently <laughs> 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 she doesn't like black people. Check, check, check it out. Okay, uh, Tyler, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd give it a go. I think it might be fun. You look very brave. What about actually building it? Because I noticed they've got not really much health and safety just jumping around like monkeys. Would you do that? Oh, it would be more of a sidewalk if I were to do it, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'd do the whole bridge. I've seen you jumping around like a monkey. I think you could do it. <laughs> okay, and uh, I want to know, have any of you got any health and safety nightmare stories here in China? In fact, Tyler, I know that you actually fell down something, didn't you? Yeah, I fell down a manhole on like my third day in China. Oh, oh what a pity. Did you sue anyone? You're American. No, no. Some guy came to me and gave me a big bag of milk oh, but uh, the big thing was they tried to get inject me with horse blood horse blood, horse right? blood. yeah i was allergic to it not surprisingly because i'm a homo sapien not a horse <laughs> okay well we've learned a lot today uh, tyler's not a horse also i've got a note here that emily is an uncoordinated buffoon <laughs> just, just a little about? bit no well, well i'm not the most coordinated person in the world and, and china doesn't really assist with that and and I've fallen over multiple times here in China and once here in the CRI building when oh one of the chairs in the studio was missing a wheel and <laughs> so I sat down and the whole thing tipped yeah. over and I was oh, on the floor. that happened to me as well. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. It is, it is a safety fallen, risk you? here okay, at CRI. Okay, the mighty have indeed fallen. But I have to say, for those people at home who can't see, Emily is actually in a wheelchair right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, no I have to say, I do feel sorry for the people in the village below because in the photo you can see there's a village below these 1,888 lights. And for hundreds of years, they've looked up and seen the night sky, and now they just see this giant, stupid bridge. I bet nobody asked the local people. Do you think so? No, I doubt it. You don't think they asked? No, no, They just no. built it anyway? Yeah, I think they probably would. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, feel, I feel really hurt for the local people, so uh, tears for them. <laughs> anyway, before we start crying too much, should we take a look at the next video? Oh, <laughs> Tyler wants sure. it. No, nobody else yeah. cares. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tyler. Good, okay, let's check it out. Thumbs up. Oh, oh. Wow. oh, we've learned something about Emily today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so, does, uh, does anyone want to buzz in and uh, tell me? Oh, you, uh, try and get the girl. <laughs> Just eat gentle. It's like a woman. Can you, you treat it with a teammate that knows how to use the thing. bell? Because dear old Ad last time, he couldn't use it, could he? It's these people that used to work on the Beijing Hour. Anyway, <laughs> now that you've been thoroughly insulted, would you like to tell me what is going on in those photos? I think there are female chengguans all around the country. You think or you know? I think and I know. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, can't argue with that. You're absolutely <laughs> right. But for our people at home who haven't lived in China for many, many years, what is this mysterious chengguan? Basically, if you are a chengguan, then you tell people 
to do the right thing. For example, you to do the right thing. Yeah, if you、okay. want to sell something, then、mm-hmm. go to a market. Don't just sell it on the street randomly. Okay. Because when I go down the street, I often see the pirate DVD sellers selling stuff out of suitcases. So the Chungwan just moves them on to the actual pirate DVD store. So you sell it from a, a nice warm location. I think that's very good. And also they move、uh, sweet potato sellers as well, don't they? <laughs> well, yes, they do. Okay. Because there's a sweet potato man who hangs around outside CRI sometimes. <laughs> I do like his sweet potatoes. Buy them if、they、you're ever here. They smell good. They do. They smell like sweet potatoes.、Um, <laughs> now, Tyler, I was wondering, do you think that these women are actually hot? Because my producer Kitty took a look at them, and she thought they weren't hot at all. What's your opinion? I think they're quite attractive.、So、I like the uniforms. Quite oh,、nice. you like uniforms. What about you? Do you like them?、Mm, no. You, would you like a, a nice man in a uniform to move、yeah. you along? Yeah. Yeah. Like、um, Keanu Reeves. 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 Keanu They smashed up a stall on the the side of the street. I don't remember what he was selling, like key rings or key rings. some little trinket. Well, obviously they just don't appreciate tacky merchandise. No. Okay. Well, if you go to Sandleyton, you often go down the street. Sandleyton is the place where cool people hang out, such as me. Do you hang out there? Oh yeah, occasionally. Yeah. Emily. Oh yeah. Yeah. See exactly. And、uh, when you walk down the street, they often have these. Like semi-fake Tibetan people on bicycles, and then they sell all these Tibetan trinkets. But what happens is when the Chungwan turn up, the Tibetan people put a blanket over their stuff, and then the police officers or the Chungwan they don't know what's going on, so they just walk by. And then when they've gone, off comes the blanket. Intelligent.、Hmm. Emily agrees with me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway,、uh, I've got something here about golf buggies as well. Yeah, well they, they drive around in little golf buggies, according to the picture on the the thing. I I I just like a ride. Fascinating anecdote. She needs a ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh,、uh, Tyler, can you help? <laughs>、uh, with a ride? Yeah, she needs a ride. <laughs> <laughs>、okay. um, have uh, where? A, a ride where? To、in、the bedroom, I guess. <laughs> okay. So,、uh, Liu Yan,、uh, have you seen any violence? I wouldn't necessarily call it violence, but I have seen Chengguan. Act pretty tough, you know. Use strong language. That、so、kind of like、thing. what, like naughty. <laughs> well, what kind are we back in the bedroom? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's where you belong. <laughs> But uh, no, uh, what kind of strong language have you heard them use? Anything you can say on this show? I don't think no. <laughs> oh, okay. it's, it's it's not PG thirteen. Oh, it's, it it's gone all red now. It's cute.、Oh. Okay. Well,、uh, Tyler, would you listen to hot women? Oh yeah. If they told you to move your sweet potatoes. <laughs> Absolutely. Actual、yeah. sweet that's, potatoes. That's pretty much my entire life is listening to what the hot women tell me to do. That's why I'm here. Okay.、Um, <laughs> because Huang Rei asked you. To <laughs> <laughs> do you think you're hot? Hmm. What about you? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think the glasses. He's got a girlfriend. Leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> 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 This is literally like sexual harassment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Tyler alone. In America, they have rules about this. I know we're in China, but just stop it. Okay. <laughs> she's looking at me now with the dirty eyes. Can we, can we get a close up on her? Yeah. <laughs> dirty eyes. Dirty eyes. And they're magnified through those glasses. I can't take it anymore. Next story, please. <laughs> Okay, what are we looking at now? Oh, oh no! You were too late. You were too late. Okay,、yeah. so that means so you be happy. You were slow. Okay, <laughs> we're on the same team. team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly. Communal... See. Okay, well,、uh, whatever you say, Emily. Would you like to tell me what is going yeah, on? Yeah, this is about about Chinese movies ripping off、um, international movie posters. Are you saying that the Chinese have illegally copied something from the West? No. So、yes. what? No, yeah, yeah. She's not going to be with us next week because she's going to be back in Australia. <laughs> okay, you're actually correct though. I guess we're all going back home. I'm not going to Australia. Don't want to. But、uh, Chinese films are actually copying the designs of movie posters from around the world, especially Hollywood ones. And there was a Thai one in there somewhere. We don't really care about that.、Um, I want to know. Do you think we've got two actual Chinese people on the show today?、Uh, for those people amongst you who are a bit simple, it's not Tyler or Emily. It's actually these two. So,、uh, would either of you like to tell me why there's so much fake stuff in China? You used to do real news before you moved on to the world of words. What、uh, is the reason for it? 
Well, I think because it's relatively cheap, mm -hmm. and also the quality sometimes isn't bad. Um, sometimes isn't bad. You're lying. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, I go to the salt market quite often just to laugh at people. It makes me feel better about myself. And you often see these gigantic Americans uh, going in there, and they buy something, and they don't bargain. They just buy it for an expensive price, and then they get back onto their tour bus. And when they're playing with it, it kind of falls apart in their hands. And as they're driving out, you can see on their face, I'm stupid. <laughs> kind, of, kind of brings a smile to my Some Australians as well. <laughs> do you want to do that for, in an Australian accent? I'm stupid. <laughs> that was the least Australian <laughs> thing you've ever <laughs> said, ever. <laughs> no. Okay. We but didn't say that. What, what would you say for I'm stupid? Well, be, but we're not stupid, so we just don't. <laughs> I'm a buffoon. <laughs> okay. I went in there and I was looking at a D&G purse. Not for myself, obviously, don't wear them. But uh, it actually said Dolce and Gabuna on it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I have to say, they, they got the D&G part right, but the Gabuna is wrong. Anyway, does anyone want to tell me about Da Pong? That's been in the news recently. <laughs> Any oh. You don't need to buzz in at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Although, actually, Miss Flirty, you should see her nails. Can I take your hand? Hi. Look, look at that. It's close up on her nails. <laughs> Lovely. They're so shiny. When I look down, I'm not looking down very often, but I can hardly see. Anyway, do you want to tell us about Da Pong? Da Pong, uh, he hosts an uh, entertainment talking show on the internet here in China. Marvellous. OK, and what happened uh, with him and an American show? Something to do with faking. <laughs> you know all about faking it. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. OK, go on then. I think he ripped off the opening sequence of the Conan O'Brien show. You think or you know? I think and I know. He knows and he thinks <laughs> all together. It's like having Descartes on the I show. Think isn't it? <laughs> I think therefore I am. See, see, he knows what I'm talking about. Philosophy is alive and well in China. He did indeed. This show, Da Pong, ripped off the opening sequence of the Conan O'Brien show. Now, before we move on, I do want to have a look at one poster again. It's for the film Perfect Wedding. And uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah. I don't know what's happening in that picture. How is that woman being kept up by that man? Mm. Any ideas? Well, I know what she's being held up by. I don't um, think I can say, really. You, you can't say? No. OK, and I'm sure you can't say either. Is that a gun, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> he's, he's talking to me. He's, actually, he's, not, he's, he's not talking about the show. He's talking to me. Stop looking down, OK? Just look, look over there, OK? <laughs> anyway, before things get too dirty here, I'm, I'm turning red. You're all shiny. You're being dirty. You're just being yourself. So, uh, all three. Anyway, let's move on to the next video, please. OK, what do you think these pictures are of? Oh. Oh, Tyler <laughs> has buzzed in with extreme <laughs> excitement. <laughs> what, uh, what is it? Uh, it's the paper iPads and uh, iPods and watches that they're burning for uh, for tomb, tomb sweeping sweep. day. Tomb sweeping day, and one of our resident, real, authentic Chinese people is now going to tell us what tomb sweeping is about. Let's choose the lady this time. Sorry. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, can you move it away from her? <laughs> there we go. I'll just yeah, put this away. Okay. Sweep. She's got a really long arm. I warn you. <laughs> okay, go on then. Tell us about what tomb sweeping is. Um, tomb sweeping day is a day that um, Chinese people go to a cemetery to remember someone, uh, especially their relatives, friends who are already dead. Okay, so you remember people who are dead? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm a little bit bored, but it doesn't matter. Um, now, I'm interested because, as we see from the photos, they've been burning things like paper iPads, which obviously you're going to need in the next life, whatever. Um, what kind of stuff would you like to be burnt for you? So uh, what would you like to be burnt for you when you're dead and gone? Which won't be for a while, but, okay. uh, but what would you like to be burnt? When I'm dead and gone, I think I won. Money, 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 <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being at KTV, isn't it? Marvelous. Okay, round of, applause. round of applause for the musical superstar. Okay, so uh, someone wants money. What about you, Emily? You're not I so shallow, are you? No, I just like like a lifetime supply of chocolate. A oh, that's 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 lifetime supply? That's ironic, <laughs> given <laughs> that you're here today. An eternal lifetime supply of chocolate. She's making no sense now. Okay, let's quickly move on to Tyler. What would you like? Well, would you I like a woman? <laughs> no, I, d I don't believe in the afterlife, so I'd just like them to burn all my porn, please. Aww. Okay, so that no one can find it. Could, could you not leave it to one of us? <laughs> well, no, not really. I From Emily's trust. opinion of the Chung one, I think she'd enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, and... Uh, what about me? Yeah. A picture of Moving Keanu on, Reeves. moving on. <laughs> Go on then, what would you like? A picture of Keanu Reeves. Why yeah. didn't you just ask for the real one? 
Uh, yeah, I'd like they to can see make him a, burnt well, alive make as well. Out of paper, or we can just burn the real ones yeah. if you don't like him. Because <laughs> she him wants him time. to live forever. Yeah, well, okay, but he won't um, die in the art. I'm getting so confused by philosophy. <laughs> <philosophy. laughs> okay. okay. Well, we have an immortal Keanu Reeves now, I think. I think that's what we've decided. Which is your on. eternal punishment. <laughs> but uh, I wonder, like, if you actually burnt uh, a paper woman. If you gave her big boobs, would she go into the next life with big boobs? Well, it's going to be two-dimensional no matter what, I think. Well, no, so. because I was thinking about this. If you want to make big boobs, would you use watermelons or balloons? I'd probably use watermelons. Okay. Conray, <laughs> balloons or watermelons? Uh, watermelons. Oh, she's actually, she actually gave it some serious <laughs> thought. She <laughs> took that as a serious <laughs> question and deeply considered it. The balloons would pop, actually, so that's a bit pointless. What if you mm. filled them with, um... What? what? With water. <laughs> 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 those, those aren't boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, if you filled them with what? Well, I don't know, some kind of liquid, then they'd, they'd feel a little, little real. Filled them with liquid? <laughs> she wants them to be anatomy, uh, biologically correct. What's the word I'm thinking? Anat uh, uh, anatomy. Oh, anatomy. Anatomically. Anatomically. Let's ask a Chinese guy to do it. What am I thinking of? Anatomically correct. Oh, Anatomically. I've been defeated by an Australian. That's just unbelievable. She knows my language better than me. Oh, wow. Well. Anyway, uh, I wonder if they actually send, if they have like real fake iPads and fake, fake iPads. I don't know. I don't know if they do. Anyway, I am thoroughly disgusted right now. So I think it's about time to end. I personally would choose watermelons instead of balloons. So that about wraps it up. Should we, say, uh, should we say goodbye? But before we do, actually, I need to pick a winner. I always forget this, mm. and I actually have a trophy here. So, who's going to win it this week? I think this... Oh. Yay! <laughs> they've, totally, <laughs> they've totally missed the point of the trophy, which is why now the trophy is going to be put down here. No one deserves it because they're all stupid. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to check out our show on Weibot, which is down below. And also, if you have anything to say, any positive comments, do write into our uh, email account, which is also down below. Great stuff. If you have something negative to say, don't bother, because I'll just kill you. Anyway, should we say goodbye for now? Bye-bye. <laughs>